Yes, sir. Okay. Let's see. Uh, now we'll study the new topic, chapter 10. So it is chapter 10. Mean value theorem. Mean value theorem. So see, first question. It is given function of x is equal to x square minus of x minus of 6 on on minus 2 comma 3, right? So since fx is polynomial in x and hence continuous and differentiable on real number, right? So write the statement also then fx is polynomial, polynomial right in x and hence continue continuous function and differentiable in real number in real r right so that f of x is continuous b continuous on close interval minus 2 comma 3. So it is also differentiable. So right here also differentiable on the same range. Right. So put one time f of minus 2. So instead of x, we have to put minus of 2. Then it will become minus 2 square minus of minus 2 minus of 6. So minus 2 square is 4 and this will minus minus will become plus. So it will be plus 2 of minus 6. So it is coming out to be 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. Right. Similarly, yes. f of 3. Now put this time x is equal to 3 in the function. So it will be 3 square minus of 3 minus of 6. So it is nothing but 9 minus 9. So it is also coming out to be. Zero. zero so you can say that between this interval this function is equal uh, so f of minus 2 is equal to f of 3 right so that all the three condition of rose theorem are satisfied right because it is differentiable continuous and value is also equal so write here a statement that all three conditions of Rolle's theorem Rolle's theorem are satisfied are satisfied so at least one real number minus two so there exist there exist ka symbol kaise likhte pata hai aise. so this will be the there exist there exist one value <laughs> right so that will be f dash of c should be equal to zero so again differentiate the function then you will get your function is fx is equal to x square minus of x minus x so f dash of x will become it is 2x minus of 1 now right so here put f dash of c instead of x. So it will be 2c minus 1. Right. So put it is, is, is equal to 0. So 2c minus 1 equal to 0. So c you are getting as 1 upon 2. So this will be the another value of x which satisfy the Rolle's theorem. So Rolle's theorem is verified. Rolle's theorem is satisfied so in the similar manner you have to solve the next part or next sum now see the question number second so it is nothing but it is f of x equal to x square x square minus 6x plus 5 in 1.5 1 comma 5 so here close interval 1 comma 5 two points are given right so you can also exist 
or you can directly differentiate it, it. So, so it will be f dash of x will be nothing but it is 2x minus of 6 which exists for all linear number which exists for all real number right and it is derivative on that function also so now put the value in function in the previous questions in the similar manner right so put x is equal to 1 in the function so it will be f of 1 is equal to what so it will be 1 square minus 6 into 1 plus of 5 so it is 1 minus 6 plus 5 it is coming out to be 0 in the similar manner put x is equal to 5 so f of 5 is nothing but it is 5 square minus 6 into 5 plus 5 so it is coming out to be 25 minus 30 plus 5 so again we are getting 0 so f of 1 is equal to nothing but it is equal to f of 5 that is coming out to be 0 understood yes sir. so all the three conditions of Rolle's theorem are satisfied right so again we are finding this is the first condition this is your second what we do now f dash of c put here so it will be 2 of c minus 6 and it, do it equal to 0 so you will get c as 3 right so this also satisfies the Rolle's theorem so this condition you have to follow just so this is the third condition and f dash is fourth one so please write it down and solve the third part